All right, hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to talk a little bit about a, 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 a random subject within UMG. It's just UMG tooltips, basically allowing uh, widgets to be drawn over your mouse cursor whenever you're uh, hovering over an object within UMG. So basically, you can give them like a little tooltip widget that kind of describes what you're hovering over. You see these in a lot of games, like, uh, like I guess, RPGs and like tower defense uh those team games what are the what I forget the name of the genre but games like League of Legends and Dota uh the, the what's the mess it's the multiplayer online MOBAs <laughs> I don't know why I forgot that so MOBAs things like that you'll be able to hover over a, a uh, HUD element and a little widget will show up kind of giving you a tooltip on what's going on uh, so that's what I'm going to make for you today and show you how to do uh, so I'm uh, in this one. I'm in uh, Unreal Engine 4.15. Uh, I have just a background image. I'm gonna make everything from scratch. Let me just take out that part. Uh, I'm using the first-person template, so in my controller, I'm just unpossessing, so don't, we don't have to really deal with it. Uh, but that's all I really did, really in terms of a custom setup. Uh, let me just delete this old one. Okay, so let's start from scratch. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to first create a main widget. BPUI, uh, uh, we'll call it tooltip main. And this is just going to have a background image so we have something to really look at. And this is where we're also going to create a container that we're going to draw basically just buttons that have different colors. And when we hover over that button, uh, a tooltip is going to show up telling us what color it is and everything like that. Just something super, super simple. Uh, nothing too complicated for this example. So let's just put an image in. And I have an image here. I like to do size to content just because the image itself is 1920 by 1080. But what you want to do too for anchors, just set it to expand the whole thing. And just make sure all the offsets are zeroed out. And then let's create a container. Uh, we'll make it a horizontal box. Let's center it, put the anchor there, uh, make its alignment 0.5.5, and then zero out the X and Y position. And we'll also want to do size the content because we do want it to grow as we add elements to it. And now that we created this, let's just make sure it gets drawn. So let's go into our player controller. Under event begin play, we'll do a create widget. Owning player is going to be self because we are a player controller. Class is going to be tooltip main that we just made. And then we want to pull from this add to viewport. So now if we play, we should see the background. And we do. So that's good. So now let's create our actual kind of buttons that we're going to hover over. So let's just do user interface widget blueprint bp underscore ui underscore uh, tooltip button. Let's open that up, and we're going to take out a button. And not only buttons have this, but the, uh, there's a couple other kind of UMG uh, elements that can use tooltips. Uh, just to show you where it's at, it's under behavior. You'll see it here, tooltip text and bind. That's strictly if you want to use Unreal's default uh, tooltip, which is kind of boring, but I'll show you how to use it in a second. But under advanced, that's where you have tooltip widget, and you can bind into that your own widget that you make custom. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, so let's go ahead, we created our button, we'll just call it tooltip button, just so we have a name. And into this we're going to give it a text, just so we can change the text dynamically through our tooltip. Oh, actually no, we don't want a text, I'm sorry. Uh, we want an image. And this couple ways, because what we're going to do, we're going to make buttons uh, of varying colors. And we're just going to assign the colors to the buttons and based on the color, you know, hover different information on that tooltip. Uh, so with the tooltip button, we'll, we'll size the content. We'll set background to zero on the alpha just so it doesn't show up. And then for the image, set all of its padding to zero and just make sure it expands all the way. And we'll make the image size 64 by 64, and that in turn will increase the size of our button. And that's pretty much all we need to do. Uh, so let's go into the graph of this button. 
Uh, we don't need this image as a variable, I don't believe. So we're going to give this uh, one uh, variable, and it's going to be a text variable. Make sure it's public. Call it color. Compile. Because uh, basically we're going to assign a text color and an actual linear color to these buttons. And we're going to use that information then to display more information through our tooltip. So now that we have our button kind of where we want, let's first make a one last function. We'll do set button color. Grab a tooltip button, set color. Just do normal set color and opacity. We don't want to do the background. Just throw that in. And now we have our function. And you'll see what I'm going to do in just a second. So back in our main tooltip, whoops. Back in our main tooltip, let's name this horizontal box to uh, button container. Make sure it's a variable because we'll need to reference it. And now from event construct, we want to make a new function called add children. And we don't need this image to be a variable, but let's just name it background just so it's named. Now, uh, we need two variables. One, a linear color array, so colors. And then we got to type in linear color. And then from here, make it an array. Compile. And we're going to do bas very basic colors. I believe we need uh, eight elements. So first, we'll make red. Then we'll make green. We'll make blue. Then we'll make black, then we'll make white, then we'll make yellow, then we'll make like a purple magenta kind of color, and then we'll make like a cyan color. So that's all our colors that we want. And we want to use this array and do a for each. And from this for each, Let's make a local variable from the color that we're getting. And also make a local variable from the index. You'll see why in a sec. And through this array, since we're going, we're going to go through this array uh, eight times total, what we want to do is each time we want to create a widget. Whoops. And do get owning player, plug that in. And then we want to grab a tooltip button. And from here, whenever that color variable, that text variable, what we'll want to do is create another array, but this time it's going to be a text array. We'll call it color text, or colors text. And we'll add the same number of array elements. So eight total, and we'll name them how they are represented. So it was red, green, blue, black, white, yellow, uh, we'll call that color magenta, and then cyan. And what we we'll want to do, now that we have those texts, we we'll want to create a local variable for this new widget we're creating. So we'll just call it tooltip button. And from here, we'll do a set color. Now, what we can do is get our color text and do a get. And since we lined up all the names and the colors the same, we could just get local index. So at local index zero, this is going to return red, and it's going to return the color red, and so on like that. And then we'll want to call that function about setting the color. So set color. So set button color. And we could just use get local color. And then the last thing we need is our button container, that horizontal box, and add child to horizontal box. And the child or content here is the tooltip button. Now, if we play, we don't have anything because we, we forgot the most crucial part, calling the add children function on the construct of our main widget here. So now if we play, here are our buttons. They don't do anything, but they're there. 
So now I'll show you Unreal's basic means of providing kind of like a tooltip widget. So with the tooltip, uh, with the button here selected, let's go under behavior, and I'll first show you Unreal. So under tooltip text, you can bind it, and we'll just bind it with color. And we could just name get tooltip. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. So now, when we hover over these, you're going to see the text of the color that we're hovering over, and the same thing with Unreal's background. So red, green, blue, black, white, yellow, magenta, cyan. Pretty cool. But what we'll want to do now, let's create our own custom tooltip. So to do that, we need a new user interface, widget blueprint. So BP UI underscore tooltip. And how do we want this to look? Uh, let's give it, let's start with an overlay. And I like to name everything, so we'll just call this main overlay. Then let's uh, call an image. Call, uh, we want it as a child of the main overlay. We'll call it background. Don't need it as a variable. Make main overlay size the content so everything is the same size here. And last, let's do a text. Make sure the background is set to stretch. And let's make this black. A little transparent, let's make it 24. Now the text block we want is a variable. And we'll call this color text. And that's pretty much what our tooltip will look like. Um, so, let's make a graph. And we need to make a function here. And we'll call this set tooltip. So let's get a color text. Let's do set color. And let's plug that in here. And then same thing, but we're going to do set text. Put it in. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so now we just need to call it, which is going to be really simple. So let's go back into our tooltip button. With the button selected here, let's first remove that binding. And now tooltip widget, let's bind. We'll just name this set tooltip. We can actually get rid of this old one. So what we can do is create widget. Do get owner player. Make this the class of tooltip. And then let's call that function we just made. Set tooltip. And also make sure you pass the return value to the end return value of our binding here and plug it in. So now we have color right here. But how are we going to give it the actual color of the button? Pretty easy. Let's get the button and just get color and opacity. I see. Whoops. Uh, the problem here is text color is a little different than normal color. It's a slate color. So let's instead break this. Now we have our linear color. Plug that back in. Get rid of the old color and opacity. And that's better. So sorry about that. So text color uses slate color, not linear color. They're not the same kind of struct. So just make sure you make that fix. Let's go back into our tooltip button. And now we can plug in this color. So what should we expect to see? When we hover over our objects here, our buttons, we should see the black background and then the, the text reading what color it is and that text should be the color. And there we go. It's kind of hard to see, but we got it working. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so the last thing real quick that I want to show you, it's, it's going to take five seconds. Um, if you look under the advanced, you can do cursor as well. So you can also change the cursor that shows up. So if we type in grab hand and we hover over, we now have grab hand instead of the normal cursor. 
So that's pretty cool. I might do a more in-depth video about how to change cursors and stuff like that. But that's a little little thing I wanted to show. Uh, so you can do a lot of advanced things. Uh, in the projects that I've been working on, I've been using tooltip widgets just to display more information to the player about certain items that they're looking at. So it's pretty useful. Uh, again, this is just a simple concept or proof of concept, really, just to get you guys going. Um, so just to recap, we have our player controller drawing our main tooltip widget. Our main tooltip widget has a background and a horizontal container. And if you'll notice, the horizontal container also has the ability for a tooltip widget. So vertical containers, horizontal containers, buttons, I'm sure there's a few more. They'll have that ability to make a tooltip widget. And from there, we're adding children uh, based on a color array of different colors. And then making those tooltip button widgets, which is literally just a button with an image. And we're just changing the color of the button. That changes the color of the image itself. And then we have our tooltip, which is just a, back, a black background with the text variable that we then update based on the information we pass to each button. Uh, so thanks guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you do subscribe to the channel here for more tutorials, more blueprint examples, and some other things. Uh, make sure to leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what else you want to learn about if you thought this topic was helpful. And make sure to like the video if you did enjoy the content. Uh, so thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. I just want to run to you and break off the chains and throw them away. I just want to be